appreciate it's been a little while since I've done a video um, vlog, blog, whatever you want to call them. Um, just so, just been busy, you know, lockdown life and all that. Um, you can tell by the beard and the hair that I'm not looking my best, so sorry. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I just, I've decided um, that I'm going to start shooting film again because basically um, I, I never really stopped shooting film but I shot a lot more back in 2015 2016 around then and I was developing a lot and I just suddenly stopped for some random reason um, I can't remember exactly why but I think it probably tied in with the fact that my daughter was quite young and um, yeah she you know I think she was about two years old when I, like, I last developed a role of film and just the idea of having all these chemicals around with her uh, tie tie that in top of you know the fact that I was shooting a lot of weddings. I just didn't really have the time to do do it as much as I liked. So I just kind of it just sort of fell by the wayside. And the last couple of months with the lockdown, obviously I wasn't taking any photos. It was getting dark in the evenings. I'm working during the day, and. I wasn't really getting out at weekends because it was pretty horrible weather so it's kind of like just staying local and so the opportunities to take photographs were a bit few and far between and I ended up digging out my old negatives that I shot and developed back in 2015-2016 and I was like you know these I like thought these are not bad photos they're they're pretty good and They've got a distinct look as well, like the grain, I don't think you can replicate the look of film grain as well, you know, in Lightroom, even though it tries, it's not quite there. And um, I sort of just decided to, um, yeah, from that I thought, yeah, maybe I should try it again. And then a couple of weeks later, uh, I started, actually it was a couple of days later, I, I, I saw a thing on Twitter the crappy commie camera challenge uh, where I th I, I'm not quite sure who started it but the idea is that you take an old Soviet era um, camera and shoot it and uh, you know see what results you get out of it I guess and share it um, so I dug out this this is a Zenit TTL I bought it in a charity shop because I wanted the, it had a Vivitar 135mm lens. Um, so I wanted that, and I think I paid like a fiver or something ridiculously cheap. And I shot one roll of film on it, again, back in 2016, and the damn thing snapped on me. Didn't realise it once you finished the roll, in the, you know, normally you, there's a button, I'm used to finding a button here, and if that wasn't there, which releases the film so you can wind it back. Um, but I couldn't get it working and it snapped the roll of film so I just wrote it off and cast it aside, threw it to the bottom of the camera bag and never used it again until I saw this challenge on Twitter and I was like I'm going to go for it, I'm going to take the Zenit TTL out again, uh, shoot a roll and see what I get out of it. And I haven't de developed it yet but basically I put a roll of Kentmere 400 in there. Um, and I worked out that to release the roll when you finish it you twist this thing here nasty and it's very stiff and it took a few attempts but I didn't break the roll that's the important thing the other thing you'll notice is that it's missing a hot shoe someone decided it didn't need one I guess and they just took it off and this while the film thing you know that thing to roll back the film works the dial around it does absolutely nothing just goes round and round and round and round so yeah uh, at the moment you'll see I've got the Helios lens on there at the moment um, which I've been shooting on my X-Pro1 but I swapped the one the, the Vivitar 135 is it Vivitar? Super Takuma I, I, I think it's a Super Takuma I, I can't remember but that's now on the X-Pro1 and I'm having a bit of fun with that struggling a bit because I'm not used to close focal ranges but anyway that's that's what happened so I've shot a roll of this Kentmere 400 um, I'm going to develop it, I've bought some film developer, some fixer and some stop um, and yeah I need to mix up the chems um, and then get going really, it's a case of finding time so hopefully this weekend with Easter I'll get around to it and yeah so that's it, I've ordered a few more rolls of black and white film 
um, and I'm sort of raring to get back into the world of black and white film photography. So yeah, looking forward to it and I'll share whatever happens, you know, disasters or decent results um, with you if you're interested. So thanks for your time and I'll catch you later. <laughs>